one day I received an email from the DP of my show in China, Departed Heroes, um, asking me if I was even remotely interested in being on that show, given how last minute it was, right? And of course, I was totally into it right away. And I just received the Hua Ding Award, uh, which is an, uh, a Chinese audience award, uh, for my uh, part in Departed Heroes, Yuan Shu Fei Ying. The air condition failed. So I was sitting in this award for five hours in my beautiful Cavalli evening gown, right? Sweating like hell. It looked beautiful though, so. <laughs> I was sweating like hell. And as the moment of, of me receiving my award, like stepping up on stage, grew, came closer, I felt like I was losing my breasts. <laughs> because I had these, so, get, so I had to have my dress fitted. And the, the seamstresses that fitted my dress talked me into using these glue on a glue on bra right like a sort of a glue on breast and so I, I glued it on but of course as I was sweating I felt it come loose and so I started freaking out I was like oh my god I'm gonna get up on stage I'm gonna lose my bra I'm gonna have two pair of breasts under my beautiful cavalli gown and I won't be able to fix it because I will be holding uh, you know an award certificate and the award and, and I'll be standing there with four breasts. What am I gonna do? So of course I was like, I, I was I was so nervous. I could have, I was about to use any excuse to just escape the room. There was no way. So in the end, I I got up there and I delivered a little speech in Chinese, which uh, I think the fans liked. I even got applause. Um, to be honest, my, my initial thought was, uh, oh, this is pornographic. <laughs> And my second thought was, wow, that's exciting and challenging. I, I think I gave you a call right, af right after I read the script and got a chance to talk to you about, about it and realized your motives for writing the story and that they were not pornographic at all. <laughs> um, and, and that I think we had a very similar idea of, of what the film should look like, which you know was very comforting to me. <laughs> um, and. Um, I think you, you picked a, a very interesting and controversial subject. I did some research on, on, on cases that you told me had inspired you, like Deborah Lefebvre and you know similar cases, and I found out that a lot of these women were very young, and their students were very young too, and they didn't feel like they were doing anything wrong. They just happened to fall in love or wanted to have fun and and enjoyed the excitement of it all and didn't realize that now there was a 10 year age difference and even though th at an older age that might not matter at a younger age and when you're in a power position it's a big deal right so i tried to approach my character from from a point of of innocence of you know i like this guy he's hot i just want to have fun not realizing that I'm making a mistake till the very, very end of the movie. And even then, I might not, I think the way I played it shows that I still don't fully realize it. I'm only beginning to realize that maybe I did force myself on that boy. Maybe, maybe he wasn't at all comfortable with it. And, and maybe I did cause a, a traumatic experience that might have influenced that boy, it, you know, for his entire life. Um, I've uh, signed contracts for uh, several independent features for um, the next two years. Every time I go to China, I have a lot of meetings with, uh, with directors and, and producers, investors too. And I'm, I've actually um, agreed to develop a project myself uh, for the Chinese market, which will be um, it looks like it's going to be a, a romantic comedy um, that um, the main topic will be cultural differences between you know a, a, a mixed couple a Chinese man and a Western woman that would be my part um, and there are cultural differences set against the backdrop of the entertainment industry in China